as some of you may know, there's uh, some of us that went through the uh, townships here in Oscoda County, all six of them, uh, with a resolution reaffirming the Second Amendment. Uh, we originally had four of the six townships that had passed the resolution or had made a motion that they support the Constitution and all its amendments as written. Um, that would, that would have been Big Creek Township unanimously, Elmer Township unanimously, uh, Cummins Township four to one. They rescinded on a matter saying it was redundant or a waste of time. Don't know why. And Greenwood had the motion of support that uh, the Constitution on all of its amendments has written. Uh, Mentor avoided it down uh, three to two or two to three. Or, yeah. And uh, Clinton Township didn't act on it. Um, <clears throat> if you don't mind, I'd like to read the resolution uh, submitted. Feel free. Resolution for the preservation and support for the Second Amendment to us for the county. Whereas the Second Amendment to the U.S. Constitution states, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. And whereas our rights are given by our Creator, enlisted in the Constitution of the United States as a limit to government, and whereas a militia when properly formed is in fact the people themselves, and includes all citizens capable of bearing arms, and whereas well regulated meant that the militia, i.e. the people, must be well equipped, and whereas it being necessary to the security of a free state, <coughs> meant that the right of the people to bear arms was and remains the ultimate barrier to government tyranny. And whereas the lawless are unaffected by prohibitions to law abiding citizens' natural rights, and therefore the Ascota County Board of Commissioners resolve, as representatives of the people, to defend the Second Amendment and will not consent to unconstitutional laws, unexecutive or, executive orders, or foreign and domestic tyranny, be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution be forwarded to Governor Snyder, Senator Mullinar, Representative McMaster, the Michigan Association of Counties. Uh, Scotia County Sheriff and the other 82 Michigan Counties Board of Commissioners. I'd also like to uh, put up that um, other counties in Michigan have also put forward a similar resolution to Second Amendment Preservation. Uh, those counties would be Delta, Sheboygan, Crestville, Crawford, and Jackson. Delta passed it unanimously back in March. Sheboygan back in May, Presqu'il 3-2 back in June 12th, Crawford according to the Michigan Association of Counties, and Jackson just recently back in June on the 18th, 9-0. Um, I don't see why Oscoda County can't do the same thing. Um, I would also like to point out that uh, this is a, has been quite an influence to other areas across the state. For instance, such as what we did as a respectful manner of going through the townships before coming to county commissioners. Benzie County, Joyfield Township, they have a similar resolution on their agenda. Uh, Alpena, there's a group going through us in the township. There's a group in Montmorency County that's interested in doing what we did. Uh, Otsego County is interested. And I have some friends down in Allegan County, downstate that way, the way that we approach this resolution. Um, I think that um, with, the, with that influence, I'd like to uh, give a quote from uh, President John Quincy Adams. If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. I'd like to think that uh, other people can look at us, go to county, and think that we can do great things too, and look, at us, look to us as leaders as well. Um, And our state rep, Greg McMaster, also forwarded me a copy of the to me, a letter of support and recommendation for this for this resolution. I'll read that out loud. So, to whom it may concern, I am writing you to urge your support for the proposed resolution for the preservation and support of the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment is one of our cherished rights. We must make clear that this right is protected by our local government. 
and that we will not support any infringement on that right. The right to bear arms is fundamental to our nation, and this resolution will ensure that residents of Oscoda County continue to enjoy this right. I thank you for your time and hope you will support this resolution. Sincerely, Greg McMaster, State Representative, 105 Council District. And one thing I'd like to state is, I don't know where it came from, but this isn't political. This is coming from people here in Oscoda County that would just like the reassurance that the Second Amendment rights will be protected here. I know that you guys have taken an oath. It's not asking you to retake the oath. It's just the reassurance. Are you done? Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's my question. Are you rushing? <laughs> no, no, I just I, I heard the pause and I was waiting just for a chance to speak. Uh, I think I'm yeah, give me another minute. One more quote I'd like to pass off before I do. Sure. Always vote for principle, though you may not vote alone. And you may cherish the Swedish, uh, Swedish reflection that your vote is never lost. And that was also from John Quincy Adams. So, I would like to see a vote, regardless if you're in favor or not. Mm -hmm. Alright. I just, first, I want the clerk to put this down in the minutes. The record show that I'm one of the most staunch gun rights supporters out there. And everybody who knows me knows this. When I served in the U.S. Army for four and a half years, I took an oath. Uh, there was no time when I was asked to reaffirm any part of that oath. Nor did this happen for my three terms in the when I served on the Milo Sabo School Board. I took an oath for every term. Uh, this is an affront to my integrity. In January, I took an oath of office to support both the United States of America the Constitution and the state of Michigan. Uh, you can check with Judge Root on this. I support the whole Constitution, not just parts of it. Uh, this resolution to me is redundant. And uh, the next meeting, are we going to make a resolution for the First Amendment? And then the next meeting, the Third Amendment? And the fourth and go on and on? I don't think so. I don't know why, if this is such a concern to people, why don't you just ask me? And I'll tell you. But. Why not tell how it publicly, I, sir? I just told you. No, I don't agree with you. Tell us publicly. I, Are you for it or against it? Did not I just say, put it in the minutes, that I am a staunch supporter of gun rights? You also said the Pledge of Allegiance when you got up. That's an affirmation That's every time. And I, then I ask, why don't citizens just ask me on this service? Or is this a way to identify officials as to who are, as opposed to certain issues or not? And that's my statement. I think some would come to believe that some, uh, without the Second Amendment, you might as well throw out the rest. Because that Second Amendment is in the protected rest of the Constitution. I support the whole Constitution. If I read this correctly, you're saying under the Second Amendment, the mentally ill, the convicted felons all have a right to bear arms. Is I never that said correct? that you're putting words that aren't in there. Well, you've put a lot of words in a lot of documents over the past 30 days, 90 days, 6 months, whatever. Because this is the fifth document I've seen. I went to Mentor Township, I went to Greenwood Township. You, this is the second one you've presented to this board. Personally, like Mark, I'm a Second Amendment supporter 100%, and I will support. But I do think there are areas here that you're asking us to do, and I totally don't agree with. It's a non-binding resolution. Then why are we doing it? What is the point? It's just if it's a non-binding document, what is the point? Why does, does anybody remember Germany? Support us. That's all we ask. We support you. No, you don't. We're asking you to do it right now, Jack. Frank, do it. What did we do? We're asking we you to command. All you have to do is affirm. We took an oath as of January 1st of this year. And things haven't changed since January 1st? No. We say they have the a Constitution of the United States and all of its amendments. Yeah, don't be ignorant of reality. Please, just affirm it. What's harder than that? A 
Affirm what? What we're asking. Affirm that you support the Second Amendment. What did he just say? You're trying to attack him, what he writes, based on what we're asking today? If I could interject, I think the main point of this actually comes in the bottom line, where what they're really looking for is that that affirmation go up the chain of government from the lower bits of government, and that affirmation isn't necessarily entirely for the people that you are serving, and yet it is, because you represent at each level of government. Thank so if you. all 82 counties, or a majority of the 82 counties in Michigan, were to send similar re resolutions excuse me, to these representatives, then it, it shows to them how important that their citizens and those levels of government believe that that resolution and that particular amendment are. We need you, Gary. We don't need personalities. Or, I also serve in the military. Did anybody ask you to reaffirm your oath? I'll do it right this second, sir. I'd be honored. I'd be privileged. I'm not ashamed of what they're asking. Neither am I. Excuse me? You said the Pledge of Allegiance this morning. I certainly did. You reaffirmed everything that flag stands for. Absolutely. You do it every time you stand at that flag. Take the remove cap if you have it. That you reaffirm everything that thing stands for. With all respect and honor. That's also a Second Amendment for what it stands for. Thank you, sir. Part of the whole Thank you, sir. Since kindergarten, we've said it. How about the rest of the amendments, Frank? Excuse me? Are you saying that we don't support the rest of the amendments? If they need to be reaffirmed, let us reaffirm. All we're asking is for us, nobody else. We're the ones that put you folks in office. Who are us? <laughs> Why are you here? Who are us? I, the I, people I, that you are sitting here for. If you don't make a decision today to reaffirm, it goes based on what you, if you decline it today, it will not move forth. They have all control. What? We're asking you to give us support so we can support every county in the state of Michigan to, to keep the right to bear arms. That's all we're asking. And we support that. But we're not going to support this resolution. I'll call for a why? motion to support this why? resolution. Why? Right? Explain to us why. I don't need to explain to you. you yes, you do. You do. That's your position. You have you have that obligation to explain. I took an oath of office January first of this year. Then support, support your oath. Support the Constitution. It has nothing to do with this resolution. You're wrong. If I could interject again, I came this morning not even knowing that this was on the agenda, even though I had an agenda and looked at the things that pertain to me before I came. Um. I don't think this is meant to be oppositional, Frank. No! I just don't think it's meant to be but oppositional, but just a moment. <clears throat> Perception is nine-tenths of reality, and I think if this body were to look at that resolution and not pass it, then the perception is okay. that you are chipping away at that support, um, and that goes straight up that chain that I mentioned before of government. And the reason that there would be a stir and a concern about this amendment is that it has been gradually chipped away at by a higher level of government. And this sends a message up to the top. Amen. Every day it's doing that. And I'd like to make at. another note. Red Master was on the radio the other day, and there was an opportunity for business and jobs to come to Michigan and the Michigan plant to make ammunition. And they looked at Michigan, and they changed their minds. You know why? It wasn't Second Amendment. That's a failed opportunity. Just put the scenario here. Why are you laughing? I don't buy that one. I listened to every word of him yesterday, Greg. Now, I know Greg McMaster. He said every word of what he's going to state yesterday while I was at Saginaw VA. Listen to what he's going to say, because you don't even know what Greg says. Why they don't allow these gun folks to come into Michigan, or they don't want to. Listen to what he says. Don't smile at him, Jack. This is serious to us. This attitude right here is what's going to take away our rights. And that's a big yes. That's the beginning, Jack. You, you, you're serving us. We, we're grateful, but serve us. Don't, don't make comments about what he's put in front of you. That has nothing to do with what us people are asking you to study. I don't care how many documents this young man brought you. That doesn't have a thing to do with my Second Amendment rights as, as an American citizen. 
and I support the Second Amendment, and I told you that, and I said it January 1st when I took the oath of office. Let's I don't have, need to let's have a county resolution. Let's have a county board that will resolve in public to support the Second Amendment, because the Second Amendment supports all the amendments. Like I said before. The Bill of Rights is very important. Can we agree? Like I said before, if other counties are doing it, why can't I go to county? Could you explain why Greg didn't, what he stated, why they wouldn't come to Michigan, please? There wasn't enough support for the Second Amendment here, which would be in Through whom? Huh? Through whom? I counties. Mean, what? Through the counties of the state of Michigan. At the present. Not that they wouldn't re look at it. And that's why we're trying to get help. You know how many jobs that would make for a community? Factory jobs? The further north you go on Michigan, the more conservative you get. You go to the UP, I'm sure you'll find plenty of people who are both Second Amendment. The scenario I was going to put before you, before you laughed at me, was that if that business was seen, if they were seen, okay, Michigan's Second Amendment enough, <coughs> look at northern Michigan, they're very conservative in that area. Let's look at this Senate district right here. Let's go to the middle, right here in the 36, you know, Mayo area for Fairview, you know. Maybe the chance of having jobs being made here in this county. You know, this is this sends messages to the top and it lets our lawmakers know that we have a concern for this issue and that there are opportunities that can be branched out for this. And I'd like to put the inspiration and the influence elsewhere to the other townships that are hoping to reach out to their county commissioners. Just for a reaffirmation, it's just a reassurance to your constituents in the county. If other counties can do it, why can't us go to county? It sounds to me like uh, you made up your mind before you got elected to this post. This was not an issue. That before is an issue. I got elected. It will be in the next election. Will you bet you on that? Well, that's can I say something? Because I, I want to spoke out. And, well, you haven't been. But, but listen, I'd like to apologize for this, Dad, but listen, please. You know I served six years on this in this community trying to legally, as a voted citizen, I shut my mouth on January 1st of 2013. Out of respect, knowing how much is implied, applied, etc. towards you as an elected official. When I say you, any elected official. Roll commission up. When I heard of this, I was like, yes, we get a chance from right at the beginning to have men and women support us. Not that we're trying to say, we're going to start a militia tomorrow. That's, that has nothing to do with this. All we're saying is, keep our rights. And we don't have to even question if our county commissioners support us. Because if you affirm this, we know, not just me, all of us, as county citizens know, that you affirm the Second Amendment of the United States of America. That's all we're asking. I'm not asking you to in any way discredit the, the affirmation you made or the oath you took with Judge Root. I also took that oath. But you don't think I didn't have to make some decisions in six years that I didn't like, but they parted from my personal opinion, they parted from what I religiously believe in, personally believe in, but I had to do what was best for the people. No other purpose. And I'm not ashamed after six years. And Jack, I, was, I respect you to the utmost, and you know that. But until this day, I have been silent. I don't agree with everything. But this does affect me as a citizen of Roscoe County. All I'm asking you is prove you support us. Nothing else. Nothing else. I know you took that oath of honor. That's why you're sitting there. We'd like to have somebody else's opinion besides yours. I gave you mine. Thank you. No, you didn't. I respect yes, I did. Please, I, I apologize if you see and think I'm out of order. Please don't Once again. You ask, I'll tell you. I support the whole Constitution. It's parts of it, not just certain groups. It's the whole Constitution. But our Constitution is being attacked by higher levels of government. They're trying to do away with the Second Amendment rights. They're, they are slowly 
um, attacking every bit of the Second Amendment and trying to do away with it. All we're asking you is to support us and support our right. If we have a right to a Second Amendment, which you say that you agree that we do, then all we're asking you is to send a message to the higher levels of government to tell them that they can't mess with our Second Amendment rights. They already are. <coughs> the President and the current administration is already attacking our Second Amendment rights. And if, if they're allowed to do that and you guys won't support us, where does it stop? Tell me where it stops. You know, you tell me. They're attacking, but are they gaining? Yes. Why, absolutely. Twelve years ago, he'll have the thing on all right, now. You guys aren't willing to listen. I let you talk. You don't let me talk. Okay, let's have somebody else talk. All right. Sure. I'm going to call for a motion to accept the resolution. <laughs> no, I'd like to hear some more opinions from the rest of the... No, city. sir, this is my meeting. And I am calling an end to the discussion at this time. We thought it was our meeting. No, sir. This is not, this is an open meeting, but this is a discussion now between the Board of Commissioners. I will make a motion to adopt the resolution 2013 for preservation in support of the Second Amendment as presented. Do I hear a second to the motion? Here is second to the motion. The motion dies for lack of support. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Larry. Sir, so you made the proper statement. It died because of lack of what? Support. Mm -hmm. You just told on yourself, especially you, Mr. Director. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You call yourself a mayor. Thank you, Frank. And me, and your insider, and everybody here, probably, mm -hmm. except you. Next order of business is the.